Hi dear Africa Business Jump Starters, see this and that? Well, I have news for you. I'm moving to Africa. So yes, it's happening. I'm moving to Africa and I'm moving next week. These are some of the belongings I'm taking, just 10 boxes out of the entire house. So I'm also simplifying my life and you know, looking for things that really matter. And it's been a journey, one of its kind, and I can't wait. And yes, I just wanted to share the news with you and I also want to let you know that for that reason I'm going to lead one of my last live sessions this year and the topic will be for all of you who are interested making money in Africa the top 10 hidden trends and that is going to happen on Thursday so you'll find the link below and if you've missed the free web class and the free live training then um, you will always find a replay um, you know after we had the live session but for now I want to share a few thoughts with you of why I decided to move to Africa and I have to confess these thoughts were recorded last year in Kenya and for some reason I never shared them but now the time is right so I hope to see you in the web class and yes it's time for a new chapter. Hi dear Africa Business Jumpstarters, this is Dr. Harnett, your Africa Business Trainer online and offline. And yes, I have come to the end of the journey of my big East African trip. I've been traveling through Tanzania, Kenya and Rwanda for the last seven weeks. It was mainly all about business and getting to know the countries in regards to their opportunities, regulations and ways you can come in to do business in. However, um, I've just come to the favorite, uh, to my favorite hotel here in uh, Nairobi. Um, I love the, the, the yard and the backyard um, where I can have just a you know, quiet break. And I used that time to reflect a little bit before uh, my flight is going to depart at just shortly before midnight. And one thing that um, I wanted to actually share with you is that I truly believe it is something very, very special to be able to engage with Africa and to contribute towards the development of this continent and the amazing people of this continent. One thing I always realize is that whenever I step out in Africa, you know, straight away kind of I lift up, my spirit lift up, lifts up, my heart opens, um, I kind of expand while when I'm in the West everything is kind of contracted and so whenever I'm here I feel so much more alive and I really truly believe that it is the, the kind of the atmosphere and the, the spirit you know, we have the cradle of humankind here in Africa. And I truly believe that there is a certain spirit that you can only get here. And for me, and I know it's so true for so many of you, it allows me to, to really feel alive. You know, some of you right now, you may run the you know, nine to five rat race, or you may have a good job and really not feel fulfilled in it. Maybe you have even thought of moving to Africa or you're just wondering, is there not more to life? And I truly believe if you are seeking for something meaningful, for something that makes you feel alive, for something that will allow you to leave a legacy um, to your family or your community, I truly believe you will find it here in Africa. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to relocate, but you know, start a business, start a project start some kind of contribution and it will be so welcomed here. People will notice you, people will be grateful. And that's another thing, you know, whenever I'm in the West, I kind of um, 
you know, I, I vanish in the invisibility. Um, it is difficult to kind of be noticed in the West. And with that, I don't really mean like, you know, being up there and people notice you. I don't mean it in any vain manner. I mean, you're so replaceable in the West and people don't really see you or don't really care if you're there or not. That's at least the kind of wipe I feel when I'm in the West. And it could be a very, very subject subjective kind of um, feeling. But guess what? I was actually born in Europe and I felt like that from a very early age. Um, and I think that's why I, I kind of focused from a very early age um, everything that I did from my masters to my studies to my work uh, my community everything I focused on Eritrea because um, Eritrea gave me that that feeling alive that feeling loved that warmth that feeling visible and um, you're contributing something I'm very grateful to that that I was able to expand that to the entire continent so I've experienced that it doesn't really matter where I am. It could be Ghana or Kenya or Rwanda. I still feel the same spirit. And yes, so the question is, what are we still doing in the West? I'm asking myself that question. And um, yes, I, I believe that we actually have to self-reflect in regards to how happy we are in our life, how fulfilled we are, and maybe something else is calling us, maybe something else is calling you. And we only have this one life to live, and it's up to us what kind of decisions we make. We can contribute towards Africa's development and find a very meaningful project, life project here, even without relocating, if you think like, oh yes, but my partner, my spouse, my children, they, you know, because of them, I can't really move. I, I get that. And that's, you know, that's your decision as well. But yes, let us come together and do things that are meaningful. Who cares about the cars in your garage or, you know, how many designer clothes you have in your cupboard? Seriously, the moment death is approaching, Nothing of that counts. Nothing of that counts. But what does count are the kind of connections you have created, how many souls you have touched, and how you have contributed to the betterment of your community and humanity. I have a lot of hope in Africa, despite the many, many challenges we have. And talking about challenges, I'm surely not someone who is painting a rosy picture although some of you say that sometimes in my comment section. You know, I come from a country, um, Eritrea, where um, the, the number of problems and sufferings is endless. I know exactly what kind of challenges Africa has. Um, but it is also about seeing the opportunities, seeing the visionaries, seeing those who are marching forward, seeing those who are ambitious, and courageous enough to deciding to change things and in my you know in my case now that's also the Africa business space I have amazing hope because looking at the new generation of African entrepreneurs and businesses oh my god I can see so much so much positive in that these are people who you know care about the betterment of Africa they care at large about transparency, accountability, uh, about social responsibility, environmental responsibility and giving back to the communities. That is the Africa business space at large and it is a beautiful space to be in and frankly if you're not in it you're missing out. Um, you're connecting to so many amazing people who are visionaries, go-getters, um, they're people of courage, they're innovators, um, and it is amazing to share the space and share the goals with uh, such amazing people. So yeah, who are the people you're surrounded with um, is another question. Um, or maybe you're someone walking it all alone. 
But let me tell you, once you step into the Africa business space or just even the Africa space, you could be working on a social project, a community project. It is so rewarding and suddenly it's not about you anymore. It's about the greater picture. And I think really that's what we are all about as human beings, the greater picture. We've been taught to, yeah, to, you know, get the car and the house and then be happy ever after. And I think most of us have realized that this is not it. It's about contribution. Yes, uh, I think maybe I'm talking too much right now, um, but these are the kind of thoughts that are going through my head and have been going through me for a long time actually. And yeah, maybe I can touch or stir your soul a little bit if you are not quite sure what to do or if you feel empty or unfulfilled despite the great paycheck maybe that's coming in. I believe um, there is a lot to be found here in Africa. Let's not disregard that. We are blessed to be children of this continent. This is Dr. Harnett and I'll see you soon.